Hello, I'm Rich Dean with West Coast Collector Cars in Oregon. And today, I've got a beautiful 1970 Chevelle Resto Mod to show you. Now, uh, Resto Mod just means restored, modified, and there's a lot of versions and interpretations of that, uh, you know, in different levels. And this one is a very, very nice one. It's beautiful. I want to take you around, show you the car, show you how it was built. And it is excellent. It's really built for driving, even though it has beautiful paint, uh, as you can see here. Uh, this is cranberry red. The stripes are under the clear. Built to replicate an SS. Uh, all the trim and bright work is beautiful. The chrome is excellent on the car. Uh, you got your SS call out. This would, this didn't start life as an SS, and you really probably wouldn't want to take an SS and, you know, build a resto mod out of it. Kind of takes the value away from an SS. But uh, all the glass is nice. All the windows roll up and down nicely. Uh, went ahead with the stock wheel and tire, or I should say wheels. These are uh, the SS Rally, kind of a Magnum 500, which you would have gotten in 1970 as an option. And BF Goodrich radial TAs all around. Two 3560s up front, two 7560s out back. This car uh, built with a, a crate 383 by a company called Speed Freaks. Um, it's 468 horsepower, 517 pound-feet of torque, about 10 and a half to one compression, but we'll get to that. Uh, the engine is excellent. It's just super, super neat, and super fun to drive. We take you in on the interior on this side. Uh, the interior has been completely restored to a factory bench seat style. That is a Hurst Competition shifter with a Muncie M20 four-speed. Very nice, very well appointed. All new gauges, does not have a stereo uh, in it. A uh, person can do what they want with a stereo if they want to put a retro sound or build the stereo, but uh, this one does not have a radio in it, and really that might be a good thing. Uh, you can do your own. Doors close nicely. Gaps are nice. Again, all the trim, bright work, excellent. This has a 12-bolt positive traction differential. Uh, really with Detroit Locker, all new gearing, all new equipment under there. Uh, Mosier 31 spline axles. Excellent. Take a look at this. I want to show you this. And this is the way, the same way in the front too. Look how nice that gap is, and how tight the bumper is into the car. That's just a nice feature. Got your S SS callouts here. Everything works. All the lights work. Even your reverse lights work. Three-inch dual exhaust. The suspension is Ride Tech front and rear. Uh, you've got coil over adjustable shocks, both front and back, big sway bars, uh, strong arm, A arms. I'll show you that up front uh, when we get there. But let me show you in the trunk. Not much to write home about in here. It's just a trunk. But look how clean and how solid this is. This car started. Uh, in the restoration is a very clean, solid Arizona car. It was actually a Chevelle Sport Coupe hardtop, but well painted up underneath and everything. All your trenches are nice in here. Your weather stripping, of course, all new and pliable. Again, your striping, your SS striping, all underneath. You can't feel it, so it's all under the clear. It's a base coat, clear coat. Paint. 
Let me take a, take a minute or two to tell you a little bit about the website, westcoastcollectorcars.com, where I've got pictures of the Chevelle, including the undercarriage. Now, the undercarriage is original, left it that way on purpose because you've got the red oxide primer under there. You can see that. You can see how clean it is. Absolutely no rust under there. You know, could have painted it underneath, and it looks nice when it's painted, and, you know, we all like that, but I really wanted to have you see it in its original state. Um, you don't always get that, and that red oxide primer looks nice and clean. It, this is a sweet car. Power four-wheel, disc brakes. Um, it's got the March pulley system on the front of the engine. Get a little ahead of myself. Kind of, Kind of excited about that. I uh, want you to see the engine and everything. It's just a super neat car. Uh, ride, or uh, what do I want to say? I did it column with their touch and go system. I'll talk a little bit about that. Maybe you should be able to show you that uh, here in a little bit. But uh, let me point out uh, if you can see that, Olga can probably get in here and show you right in here the. Uh, staples which is correct and how you'd put it together sometimes you see little screws in there you don't really like that but all your jams are nice again nice pliable new weather stripping new whiskers tilt steering column um, I by I did it new gauges all the gauges work the little clock works Vintage air, air conditioning, and heat system. It's just set up nicely, just the way you like it. It's power steering. Again, power four-wheel disc brakes, air conditioning, and heat. All set up in this nice, clean package. Paint up here is beautiful as well. Oh, I should probably show you, um, you know, the windows, and this is just one example, but the windows roll up and down easily, you know. Dash pad's nice. Doors close nice. Again, you know, you got your nice gaps. Excellent. Got about a two inch drop, I would say, in the front right now. But again, you can adjust that if you like. You know, you can bring it up higher if you want to or put it down a little bit lower. But one nice thing about this car, and as much as it, you know, it's built to drive, you know, you get this thing out on the road and it just feels nice. You got that beefy suspension, you know, take you around the corners nice and easy. Strong engine, balanced, blueprinted, uh, all the paperwork. Again, on the website, you'll see you know, we've got good paper on this car. This is a great car. Uh, and up front here, again, you know, we talked a little bit about, you know, how the bumper's drawn in nicely. Let me uh, show you under the hood here. Very nicely done. 383 stroker engine, got about 730 miles or so, you know, just some nice uh, break-in uh, sorted miles on it. Uh, Full-length jet-coated long tube headers, uh, everything black and satin up here. Uh, CVF front pulley system, as you can see here. It's your little power steering pump down there. Nice aluminum manifold, of course, you know, Holly carburetor. You got this nice big DeWitt uh, aluminum radiator with the dual fans that come on uh, when it needs it. This is your power steering reservoir there. Power steering fluid reservoir, I should say. All clean and nice up underneath with your even your pads. Now the firewall originally of course would have been black 
but in as much as you have vintage air here and heat, you don't have this big bulky system here. Everything goes up under the dash on those. So that left this firewall, you know, you know, fairly sparse. Well, what they did is they went ahead and cleaned it all up nicely, smoothed it out, and painted it the color of the car. And of course, this is all highly polished as well, just like, uh, you know, the car is. HEI uh, electronic ignition. This is a fuel pressure gauge here. Very nicely done. Uh, if we come over here, I wanted to show you these strong arm A arms here. These nice big beefy A arms. So you've got brand new clutch as well for the transmission. Should mention that to you. Uh, dual friction uh, McLeod clutch. So and it, it's easy to push. It's not one of those you got to you know use both feet to try to push in. It's easy to. Easy to drive, fun to drive, super cool car. Uh, so what I'd like to do now is I'll uh, hop in the Chevelle. We'll start it. We'll hear it run. I'm just going to drive it up the driveway here a little bit, uh, and then I'll back it up and bring it back down, just so you can kind of see how it, uh, you know, how it looks when it's running and you know and moving under its own power. Uh, yeah, very nice. All the lights work again. Your turn signals and everything work. While Olga's right there, I want her to see this, if you could come in here. This is the touch and go system. So what you do is you have a key fob on you, and all you do is you just tap this right there. See how it turned blue? You put your foot on the brake, and then tap it again, and it start. Pretty cool, <laughs> you don't see that all the time. do then to shut the car off with this uh, touch and go system you just tap the button three times car shuts off but uh, what a fun car to drive what an excellent solid strong car uh, you can drive it all the time it, it just uh, it, it just it, I can't say enough about it well built uh, you're not gonna break it but uh, if I can answer any further questions for you about this 1970 Chevelle resto mod uh, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Again, my name is Rich Dean. I'm a West Coast Collector Cars. My number is 503-851-6763. And thank you for watching today.